Sadhguru, you say that we must try and break karma bondages, but at the same time, you urge people to be very inclusive, be very, very involved in everything that they do. So how these two things can exist together? Please explain. Namaskaram, Kangana. How do you see some contradiction in these two things? Karma means the residual memory of all the things that we do physically, mentally, emotionally and energy-wise. Or in other words, it's a certain unconscious software that you create. It is a certain amount of memory which rules your life on various levels. There is a physical memory, there is a psychological memory, emotional memory and energy levels of memory. All these things put together, it rules your life. So memory means however much it is, it is a limited boundary. Whatever is in your memory is a limited boundary. So karma is a limited boundary. Within those limited boundaries, karma is very useful, it facilitates many things, it makes you pretty automatic so that you can respond effortlessly to a whole lot of things. But when you want to expand, a boundary is a problem. If you just draw a boundary of, uh, let us say, your territory of home, now if you want to expand, very easy, you just have to move out. But suppose because there were certain threats to your existence, threats to your survival, you built a thick wall like a fortress around you. Now, you feel safe when there are threats, but suppose there is no threat to your life in any way, then you naturally want to expand. When you want to expand, moving this huge wall and expanding your boundary becomes very difficult. Most probably you will not expand simply because the wall. How to take the wall to another place? So similarly, karma or the karmic memory is a certain wall that you set up. If you don't loosen it up, if you do not bring inclusiveness into your system, inclusiveness is not just as an idea of being friendly with everybody. Inclusiveness into your system, when I say inclusiveness into your system, as you exist here, here we are in this jungle, what this tree is exhaling, I'm inhaling, what I'm exhaling, the tree is inhaling. Let me not make a statement about the tree, but most human beings may be unaware that this transaction is going on. If we were conscious this transaction is going on, then this experience of just sitting here and breathing is absolutely fantastic and ecstatic. But if you're unconscious, you're still being nourished by the oxygen that the tree is letting out, but you're missing the experience. So inclusiveness does not mean you did something different, you just became conscious about the nature of existence because existence is absolutely inclusive. What happens to the tree happens to you, what happens to the soil happens to you. What you think is myself, actually just the soil that you're walking upon. So inclusiveness is not something that you have to do. Inclusiveness is the nature of existence, you just have to become conscious of it. Karma is the nature of your individual existence, you have to just become conscious of the limitations of your karmic boundaries. If this awareness comes, rest is handled by life itself.